Hello everyone, Waymox here. Have you ever really wanted to rename an image on the fly, classify it, be able to re-upload it into your website? That way you get a little bit more SEO value out of it. Well, over the past couple of years, we have collected a ton of images. Um, for example, all of these have made their way onto our website. I'm actually gonna delete this one and this one. You know, they're pretty much there. Some aren't being used, but Overall, they're not providing any value to us. And we're in the process of rebuilding our website. And what we wanted to do is we wanted to be able to reclassify all these images and basically use the images in the context of a paragraph of text that we have. Um, so essentially what this does is it's watching for a hot folder which is called Pegasus Images. As soon as that gets uploaded, What's going to happen is it's going to trigger this Google Drive. I'm just going to run it so you get an idea of what it's actually doing. After it's done running, I will actually walk through each node with you. All right. So essentially, this is what just ran through. And we are checking the aspect ratio, if it's a rectangle or if it's a square. We're pretty much doing a main service where this image would be really good. Then we're doing additional services. We're adding keywords, more keywords, semantic keywords, and then we're giving it an overview. Um, essentially, by the time we're done, we're going to turn this into kind of an API where we can just pull the information from a search term. All right, so um, essentially this node as soon as it fetches the event, which is pretty much triggered when it uploads, we get all this information. Um, the first thing I'm doing is I'm setting the file ID and I'm also setting the name. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to download that image into a binary and then it's going to pull it into our AI agent. And essentially this is the prompt that I'm using. And it's just a bunch of rules and then more instructions. And then I provide it with the final JSON output that I want. And then pretty much it's got to do an auto fix parsing if the JSON is broke when it comes out. And this is our final structure, which is exactly what's in the prompt. And this is a response that we get. Um, from there, what I'm doing is I'm moving the file into a new folder, which is called renamed images. Then I'm actually updating that file where I'm renaming it and we're pulling that file name from the AI agent. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to share that file. And this node right here is just so we can get the web content link. From what I could tell, I cannot actually get it from any of these they have I believe web share link but not the web content link it's a little bit different um, from there what I'm doing is I'm just setting the image URL and then what I'm doing is I'm essentially creating an array um, for Airtable because it's looking for URL and then I'm giving the actual URL of the image and then we create the Airtable records so essentially, I'm giving its name, image. I'm not really setting a status. I guess I could probably do a done. Um, we're doing an aspect ratio and all of that. And once that's done, essentially what we're going to do is we're just going to delete it. And the reason we're doing all of this mainly is just so we can use it for our new project. And I'll give you a quick demo of what that is. All right, so this is a new content writer that we're working on and essentially it's doing a lot of things, but let me give you guys a quick demo of what this is actually doing. Uh, all right, I gotta go back to Airtable. I'm gonna go to Content Storm. Um, 
And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to say generate for WooCommerce Consulting. We're just going to run it. Now, what this is doing is, is taking an output that we're creating from an SEO analysis. And we're breaking this up into content chunks. For an example, the introduction um, gets routed into these two nodes. Um, and it's like that all the way down until we pretty much get down to the FAQs. Now, all of this information, that outline is fully backed from Google. And we're using data for SEO to do that entire analysis. And essentially when we're done, it will eventually upload all that information for us. But I think this is one of the best content writers in, in existence as of right now. It covers every aspect. And what I think it, what makes it special is let's just go to this right here. All right, so it's trained on everything. And this is for our specific brand, but we're actually getting it to be very specific. For an example, if I go to the new site we're working on, this is how that final output looks like. Now, when I go to Elementor to edit this, There you go. So this is what we have. That title right there is going to get put right here. Um, and it's pretty much generating everything for us in the specific way that we want. So for an example, Sarah's question, is your website or is WordPress holding you back overwhelming complexity and maintenance? And then it's going to give us a couple of challenges and pain points that that business owner might be facing. Um, reasons to invest in WooCommerce services. This is from a couple of different generations, but this is kind of the way everything is going to look by the time we're done. Now this right here, um, that's actually a dynamically set icon from the content generator. So when we go into our benefits, that's actually getting generated in the title based on the fine icons that we're providing into the system. Um, and this is kind of the prompt that we're using. And I gotta see what the benefits isn't actually showing. But it's basically generating it in a very specific way in how we trained it. Um, now, right here, we are pulling in challenges and uh, reasons to invest from complexity. I could be generating those through a different workflow, but I kind of figured, you know, having those on the fly is going to be a better option. Um, and I'm also going to add that to Airtable before we actually publish it. Now, once we have our Airtable actually finalized, we're going to use a tool called Page Generator Pro. Now, what this is going to allow us to do is to generate hundreds of pages from a CSV, or in this case, Airtable. They've had Airtable in this for, I think, 2021 20, or something like that. But I'm gonna be going into this a little bit more in, a net, in the next video. So if you guys are interested in image selector analysis tool and this type of content, let me know in the comments below, and I will be more than happy to go in more detail for this content writer. Thanks.